winter hive inspections? Um, my answer might be a little different from others, but know that I tend to be one that doesn't baby her bees. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm a much more hands-off beekeeper, even though this is my full-time employment. I support a team of six off of this. Um, we're a little bit more hands-off. So unless there is a concern that we have about a hive or more, most importantly, they don't have enough food to make it through winter, we don't actually do winter hive inspections. And so for us, we winterize about around Thanksgiving, it kind of depends on the weather, but usually by Thanksgiving, we've tried to winterize most of our hives. And then we're not getting back in those hives until at least January, maybe February. So we'll get in earlier if we've had a bit of a warmer winter, we'll delay it if we've had a bit of a colder winter. So uh, if we do have hives that we are worried are a bit light, meaning they don't have enough honey to make it through, we'll come out and we will pop in the hives to mountain camp feed, which mountain camp feeding is just basically a method of feeding dry sugar on top of the hive. But I don't do a lot of digging around in hives this time of year. Um, our queens are, even in a warmer winter, are going to start and stop laying in spurts. So you, there's a good chance you're not going to see any brood. So there's not a lot to look for there. If you were to go queenless, you probably wouldn't know for sure anyway because of that. And there's you can't get a queen in Texas right now. Right? So there's not a lot going on. Um, and I don't like to be breaking their propolis seals because if we do have a colder winter, right, it's really important that they have those seals to keep the hive warm. So I just don't like to meddle. Uh, if they've got a bunch, if they've got plenty of food, I tend to just leave them alone. Otherwise I'm popping in just real quickly and adding some dry sugar on top to mountain camp feed. And then I'll break in, you know, in January or February of the next year. It gives the bees a break. It gives the beekeeper a much needed break. And that's what works for me in my yards.